Hey yo, big bro, you fucking with that? Ha, okay, cool. That's my fucking brother right there. You did. Dexter. Oh, wait. So it's been snowing a lot today. It's Monday and it is a bit of that start of the week feeling. But I've kind of changed up my YouTube a little bit more and I want to make better content and spend more time on it and make sure that everything is amazing. I've been kind of thinking about it for a few days. I uploaded last Wednesday. I was going to upload on Sunday, but then I just thought it's not really working and I wanted to try something new. You can see the tripod behind me and I'm going to get rid of this setting here. So it's kind of out with the old and in with the new. And this is kind of what I want to achieve. I really like this background. It looks great and I've kind of fixed the, the settings on my camera to make my image sharper because it was kind of putting me off a little bit more. I thought it was to do with lighting. I've kind of fixed as much as I can. As you can see, I do have a window there. So the light does come straight through and hits this side of my face a lot more than this side, which I'm looking into the monitor and seeing. But that's what I kind of want to achieve. And I just don't think recently my content has been a true reflection of the talent and skills that I have. I know I can do a lot better content and I want to prove that. So I kind of want to make these videos a little bit more like a vlog slash sneaker slash streetwear everything if you know what I mean. So that's going to include a lot more like vlog-like content. For example, that in little time, time lapse at the beginning with the date. Every day that I record, I'm going to put the day that I recorded and the time lapse in there of something that's going on outside my window. Literally, my window overlooks the DLR, so most of the time it will be that. But I've looked and tried different types of time lapses today and seen different ways of doing it. So it'll be nice to try those out. So I'm going to get into the video because it's just a little bit easier and I guess it kind of brings it back to normal. But yep, yeah, this is kind of like a revamped YouTube, a revamped channel. I'm going to focus more on what I can do rather than just pushing out videos as quickly as I can. So for today's video, I'm going to talk about my latest pickups and run through some things that I have recently managed to acquire. So at the weekend, actually today in fact, is my two year anniversary with my girlfriend and she got me a few gifts for this and I got a few gifts for it for her as well. But I'm going to run through the gifts that she got me because they literally are some of the things that I've been looking forward, like I'm wanting to get for a very, very long time. So the first item is this Damaged Goods Carhartt custom bag. So Damaged Goods does a lot of custom pieces, so he embroids a lot of different things onto different clothes. Thing. So he did for his first, I think, collection, he did a lot of rainbow pieces. So he took Nike sweatshirts, Nike caps, Nike polos, and a couple of Carhartt pieces and did this rainbow pattern down the side of the bag. But as you can see, they are all hand stitched and they're really, really good quality, obviously. He's hand stitched them himself. I think he only did like five of them. So it's cool to have one of these. He put them on his Depop. I saw it and fell in love with it and was like, oh my God, I really want this. Forgot I actually said that I wanted it. And then she surprised me with it for as a gift. So it's kind of cool. I really love the colors on it. It's really, really nice. On one of the zips, he's actually used a red stitching again and another one he's got a green stitching and the final one he's got a purple stitching it's so good to see higher quality embroidery done by one person you can see it, it's all hand stitched it's incredible massive massive props to him he's done really well with himself and i think that you'll see him a lot in the future he's definitely got a high potential and his pieces will pop up on big names, I guarantee it. So another piece that I said I really wanted, but I forgot that I actually said I wanted it, was this like a tactical belt. So if you've ever seen the Elite Studios rollercoaster belt, I really, really like them, but I just don't think it's worth spending 150 quid on it. So my girlfriend got me this one, which is the a new like tactical belt really really cool it's really really long as well which i really like and it literally is just a smaller version of the elix belt it's really nice it's quite difficult to put on but once you've got it sorted you'll be able to wear it all the time it looks so cool with a t-shirt tucked in just kind of the belt sitting there you can just style it like an elix belt and it's definitely a very good affordable alternative if you're ever going to look for an elix belt this will probably feature in a video coming soon as well which is focused around affordability and that is mostly on tech wear and military sort of wear which i think is a trend for this year another piece that she got me was a Casio like watch, a gold watch. I've wanted one for ages and I forgot I wanted it again and she surprised me with it and she did really really well I think with surprising me with gifts this year. It shocked me with how she remembered things that I said oh yeah I really want this and just never got around to buying it myself so it's really nice to get it as a gift and it was a great surprise. I've always wanted one for ages and ages ever since my stepbrother got one ages and ages ago and it's just it's just a simple watch I mean style it with anything it's just that retro kind of 
kind of watch like that I really like. She also got me a uh, ring that has our initials engraved on it and the date we got together on the inside. It's really, really nice. I actually had another one that was slightly smaller and it was on a necklace, but the necklace snapped and I lost the ring, which is a huge shame, but it's really nice to get a replacement. And this one actually fits, fits one of my fingers. So it's really, really good. Again, it's just a very, very nice gift. Sentimental value, 100%. And I was quite upset when I lost the first one. So it's nice to have a replacement for it. And to go with the chain, I got a feather pendants chain. It's the 20 inch curve chain, I think. And yeah, really good quality from feather pendants as always. So yeah, that, that was also very, very nice. It's very well made. And again, I'll leave a link for it down in the description below. I do support a lot of big cartel and independent brands because I think it's better for the community. I think this is 925 sterling silver. So you do get like very good quality for a very decent price. But anyway, that is all for my like recent pickups. I have kind of like and tried something new with this whole setup, obviously bringing this back, but also trying something new with um, the sort of overhead shots at the products themselves. I want to try that a little bit more because it just looks really, really cool and it's really fun to edit with. I just want to experiment a little bit more with editing and it'd be really nice to try that out. So yeah, expect better things, better, more content that's going to be a lot better, higher quality because that's what I want to do. I don't want to rush things. So hit subscribe, leave a like and comment down below if you have any of these things, if you like damaged goods, if you like the tactical belt your opinions on the whole elite studio belts just anything about this video let me know down in the description below constructive criticism i love so just let me know thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video which will hopefully be on sunday